Andy here on a Saturday having some fun. Got the chores done. The kids are in for a nap. I'm ready to open some packages. Because I've still got a lot of packages to go through. The ADP cor direct correlation with rookie card values going up or down has been proven true again just yesterday with the Michael Thomas news. Traquan Smith rookie cards went up in value. There was a blevy, a bushel of sales yesterday on eBay from Traquan Smith and, and various different uh, levels of scarcity. And there was an increase in sales on Alvin Kamara. Jameis Winston, well, I did a, a would you rather on him between him and the skill position. There's still mixed opinions between would you rather have a, a short print on short print quarterback rookie card like Jameis Winston, or would you rather have Amari Cooper PSA 10 also short print silver? You can absolutely invest in skill position players because as their opportunity share increases and, and, and say they get an alpha size opportunity on their team and it's apparent they're becoming the alpha on their team, They've got an athletic profile that leads them to big highlights and crazy plays and a lot of hype on the field. They're doing, they're becoming fantasy studs. Well, their rookie card values are going to go up. We've seen it proven time and time again over this offseason last year. So I'm excited. I think that this football season, during the season, there's going to be more activity on rookie guards uh, as we see those ADPs moving on a weekly basis. You know, and during the season, you can look at daily fantasy formats and look at the values of those players on those platforms and as a player moves up in value on DraftKings, uh, so does their rookie card value it's it's just going to happen because that means that the hype the expectation the performance has been there built into that algorithm to make their value go up on those sites now with the with how the hobby has evolved and uh, all the people like myself and yourself that are in it this is just going to continue to increase that direct correlation between those two between fantasy football and between uh, football cards and rookie cards specifically of active modern players. So, wow, I just, that was a fun little four minute segment. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dig in some packages. Let's dig in. All right. Now this first one is from Ramsey. This was a second gift from him. So this is a gift from one of y'all. Hope you guys are having a fun Saturday. I know I am. <clears throat> Thank you so much. He said, I didn't even realize I had this too. I thought I had one at some point and I did. Throw me a LeBron or something sometime. <laughs> he said, throw me a LeBron. All right, all right. What'd you send me? Oh, a nice premier base premier aj dylan another never skips leg day aj dylan for sure he's a sleeper but dude is an absolute beast from the 2020 class he, he, you know the description on the back of the card is that dylan is a linebacker talking about adjusting your tv he looks like a linebacker in the backfield and that is surely the case all right got a purple package next and these are all going to be from eBay. Hey, shout out to uh, Raleigh Al. He brought up a, a really important fact. My last PGX reveal video that uh, I did not mention SGC in my uh, little intro talking about why you should get your cards graded and the different options. SGC, they, they do have, uh, I've seen a lot more SGC slabs in the marketplace. Um, and like uh, Raleigh Al mentioned, they have pretty decent turnaround times. They have pretty decent prices. The, the, the one complaint that I've heard from them, uh, from multiple people, are that their plastic is not very good quality and that um, there's their, and I've, I mean, you can look at their slabs. The labels and the slab are very plain. Look at this, guys. T. Higgins, field level silver. Definitely think there's plenty of opportunity for him to feast in Cincinnati this year, even with Jamar Chase. Uh, just because Joe Burrow, we know the, the offensive style there with Zach Taylor and Joe Burrow is, is going to be to pass the ball a lot. So if Joe Burrow's healthy, I mean, even when Joe Burrow was out last year, T. Higgins still had a really good box score on a weekly basis. Um, and this guy being young, you know, 
This is when we look at, we can also look at dynasty ranking. So T Higgins is a guy that is going to be uh, pretty in the top 20 on most people's dynasty rankings, you know, taking their whole career trajectory into scope with those rankings. Uh, and I'm just going to put this off to the side. I want to get a, I want to get a new sleeve for that. That was the purple package. I like it. I have to throw up the price point, but anything under $20 I think I've definitely said that before and alluded to it, but anything under twenty dollars on the uh, anything under twenty dollars on the field level silver and class twenty twenty class was so deep. Um, that's that's arguably my favorite card to target besides just the uh, prism silver as well and optic optic preview hollows man. Those are those are super rare, super short print only from that holiday set Let's see what we got in the second package man this one's scotch taped up but only on the cardboard so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start throwing up some <laughs> the, the booing noises and the come on man's just quite yet <laughs> oh yeah I remember this little lot man I got this little lot for very cheap and that's what I like about it because they're both short print cards with Mooney not getting put it into the main prism set. Mooney having that viral juke against Jalen Ramsey. And um, the guy runs, runs a sub 4-4. Made some great catches, some highlights. Made some really nice deep plays last year. He's basically going to end up as the number two next to Allen Robinson. He's a great handcuff play with Allen Robinson. I love this prism black silver select premier silver getting this lot i'm pretty sure for under 20 is definitely a good deal i may even got that closer to 10 or under which is even sweeter right i mean just a nice little sp on sp mooney takedown right there big market team uh, once we see justin fields step on the field i think we're looking at a big boost there Oh yeah, that's right. I, I caught this for around $25, a base Kyler Murray. Really clean card, but this is the kind of card because he is a quarterback because the current priority of, of general hobbyists, card hobbyists and card investors uh, is on the quarterbacks in football. Whereas, you know, there's, there's a huge demand for basketball, huge demand for baseball. And there is a demand for all these NFL skill position players now but it's just we're we're a smaller community than you know the the larger community the greater hobby community is still prioritizing quarterbacks all day long there's still a, a, a somewhat of a stigma and a dogmatic opinion around skill position players and that's fine there's enough of us at this point though that we can have fun and do just fine investing in flipping skill position players you just have to, you know, take that the volatility into consideration when you're looking at cards and price points that you're targeting. This is a base field level to T Higgins. I'm sure I just saw this for like five dollars or something, and I was like, "Bink, I'll take it." You know, just grab it. Let's see what else we got? I'm getting through some packages today. I love opening these packages and have a little Christmas action. You know. Some of these purchases are pushing pushing over a month old. I, I do, you know, I know that uh, sellers need that feedback. So, base LaVisca Chenault. Field level, though. I still think that even though it's a base, uh, because it's in that field level tier, uh, that's that brings a pretty nice, just the, just the basic uh, short print element to it. You know, that SP element to it. So, if, when I can find those for $5 or under... Like if someone's selling like on Beckett Marketplace, I haven't looked on there in a while, but Beckett Marketplace is a place I should go look for a lot of, you know, just like base field level, LaVisca Chenault or this guy right here, Antonio Gibson, who, I mean, this, I mean, he's got RB1 upside. He's got potential because he had such a light workload in college. His athletic profile is absolutely incredible. Um, we've got improvements in Washington in the quarterback scenario, Ryan Fitzpatrick. And, and they got such speed on the outside with Terry McLaurin and Curtis Samuel that uh, running lanes for this guy, he, he could be absolutely dominant this year. Receiving ability, all-purpose rushing ability, uh, big-time 
um, height adjusted speed score. He's like six foot, 215. I mean, it just really impressive guy. Hasn't hasn't been worked a ton. Now the only thing that is concerning, he had a turf toe injury last year uh, that took him out a couple weeks. Hey man, this is cool. Check it out. Maybe this is an eBay seller or just one of the subscribers. This is from Logan. Love the show. Doing a couple extra cards. Man, I appreciate that, Logan. That's nice, man. That's really cool. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. No, he must have been an eBay seller, but uh, recognized my name, familiar with the show. That's awesome, dude. Oh, that's really cool. Dude, I have to go back and throw up what I actually purchased, man. But I... I I know that uh, I must have been the Nick Chubb Silver. Of course, you guys know Nick Chubb could easily be the RB1 this year in, in the NFL. Uh, dude's just an absolute beast. Only a 2018 rookie. He's on a team with an offense, an offensive line, and uh, in the top 10, and that coach, um, Kevin Stefanski. Oh, dude, dude, he's got the, he's got the opportunity to be the number one running back. I mean, he, every year since he was a rookie, he's had top five breakaway run rates which is it runs over 15 yards and then Cortland Sutton is like a alpha wide receiver like Allen Robinson who can flourish under any quarterback scenario yeah there was a, a an injury last year to Cortland Sutton that knocked him out for the year but um, he's he's running routes right now he's in training camp and he's an absolute stud with an incredible athletic profile big market team um, and he can go off he can make really crazy catches and, you know, diving, airborne catches, really cool stuff that'll bring definite hype around him. And Joe Mixon, dude, if Joe Mixon can stay healthy, um, you know, he definitely can go off. He's got an incredible athletic profile, height adjusted speed score. He's a stud, you know, all purpose, great in the receiving game as well. Dude, Logan, I really appreciate this, man. I don't know if both of these were extra. I'm going to go back and look up the eBay order, but wow, dude. Thank you so much, Logan. appreciate your support. The extra bonus cards. Man, that's awesome, dude. That's awesome, bro. Man, I like... I mean, I like both of those... All three of those players right now. I got nothing but love for all three of them going into 20, uh, 2021. You know, there's just... Of course, there's some injury concerns around both of them, but the hype should be there because their athletic profile matches... An alpha dominant player in their position on their team and in the market size then dictates that hype going into the season and we could see uh, their ADP rise based on their expectations and performance and next thing you know the rookie card has gone up scarcity has gone up which has led to um, a, a lower supply and, and increased prices dude Jalen Hurts field level Deshaun Watson better keep his ass out of Philadelphia. I don't want none of it. He can go to Miami. I'm messing. I got a lot. I got invested in Tua as well. I think this is just a bunch of rumors. Um, of course, there's always going to be speculation and hype. I'm sure he'd love to go to Philadelphia and get out of uh, everything he's got going on in Houston. <laughs> so not to mention just the, the, the coaching situation, the personnel, uh, the offensive line, the defense, and all the hot water he's in with you know, civilians in Houston, so. Not surprised there's talk, but if you watch like the, uh, if you watch training camp footage, local beat reporters, you dig into Jalen Hurts' athletic profile and his history, um, they'll give him the opportunity this year, and I think he's going to shine. He could be a top 10 fantasy quarterback. Upside is huge. Market size is huge. I love him. One of my favorite, and, and because he's low right now, that makes him one of my favorite buy low QB targets. LaVisca Chenault, a base field level and a base club level. I'm thinking I would have targeted this for less than 10. A little S, couple SP pickups, maybe around that five for both of these. A couple base cards. Um, but uh, yeah, I like the set. I like the, definitely like the scarcity with the field level. And if the price was right, I probably snagged it. I'm not surprised, man. I'm not surprised. When I go back and, and you guys see me throw up prices as I go through these, you know? Let's see what we got. Yeah, painter's tape is always a good choice. Shipping, receiving packages. Jonathan Taylor. Base field level. Man, a lot of not a whole crazy amount of SP on SP today. 
but um you know what i'm not opposed to in, in investing and targeting these single sp cards they're great i think entry level cards you guys only looking to spend uh, less than ten dollars on a card because this does have a shorter print run than all the other base cards in the select set i think it's a great card to have and collect for 2020 athletes base or silver just be sure you're checking the little prism text to see if it is base or silver let's see what we got you know or if you know if it's if it's been exposed if it's been scanned in from a computer you'll see that ultra blue light on the front but i always want a picture of the back regardless another base uh field level jonathan taylor man interesting I was probably picking these up for just a couple dollars and um, eBay standard envelope cuts down on shipping fees. You know, you can ship that out from 50 cents to a dollar. So that's that's helpful in, in lowering the overhead of a card. And another base level, Antonio, <laughs> base, I say base level, base field level. And because it's still a field level, like, um, I mean, they wildly have overprinted base concourses, base premieres, and then shorten the print run on, on club level, and then shorten the print run even more on field level. So, and you're not going to just not invest in the 2020 athletes. Uh, you know, I've gotten into this with some random dude on Twitter before, and sure, they increased the print runs in 2020, but you're, you're not going to just miss out on investing in the 2020 class because the 2020 class is you know a future hall of fame class i mean the class is so deep and incredible we do, there's so many players in this class like antonio gibson t higgins jonathan taylor lavisca chanel i mean just that's just a, that's just tip of the iceberg <laughs> you know we're not talking about the qbs jalen hurst joe burrow to a tongue of Iloa, justin herbert you know i'm gonna open a couple more just to see what we got. I'm gonna see if I can find some more silver. This might be a, a little field level volume day. <laughs> Man, yeah, there was a period I hammered the base field levels hard. Because I do believe in their scarcity, man. And if I feel like on eBay with the with the inventory being so large on those right out of the gate with all those different tiers like i've mentioned before i felt like it was a shotgun blast and it overwhelmed a ton of uh, investors and collectors and um there's a lot of cards that went undervalued in in the recent months since this product after the first couple weeks of this product's being released another base field level antonio gibson man i'm just hammering the field levels today huh guys Hammering the field levels. Let's see what this one is in a uh, padded envelope. Oh, there we go. Field level silver AG. Player we've already seen in this mail day a few times, but now we got the SP on SP. And see, this is a card that. I think it's probably going for around forty dollars now but when i bought it throw up the price i'm sure i got this for around 20 or under it looks clean trying to show you guys all four corners there sensing a chance for his first trip to the end zone gibson shifted into overdrive the running back took a handoff from the 11 yard line made a quick cut to his right and accelerated through the open hole with only Chris Banjo in his way, Gibson powered through the Arizona safety for the touchdown in week two of 2020. I think he'll be powering through a lot more safeties this year. <laughs> right? Am I right? So, man, fun mail day. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. The, the full King Caboodle. We got the quarterback. We got some Chenaults. We got a nice Joe Mixon bonus card. Thank you, Logan. Thank you, Logan. Shout out to all you guys. Thank you for all your support. Likes, comments, subscriptions. Let's go. We'll be back Monday. Check it out. Wow, man. I got a ton of 
Boom. Boom. I almost can't even fit all the cards in the mail day. I'm going to have to do like one of these right here. Boom. 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 Check it out. Boom. 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 Can you see them on this side? Boom. 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 Look at that, y'all. Gotta put that silver right in the middle. Woo. And I gotta be real sensitive with this. Get that in a sleeve. Get it in a sleeve. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's mail day. I had some fun. Which one was your favorite? Let me know. Um, I'm leaning towards, man, I don't know. Yeah, of course, I got some couple QBs, couple QBs. You know, Kyler with the no helmets, nice. I like the Darnell Mooney Prism Black Silver, the Darnell Mooney's. Of course, I like the Noah Fant and the Nick Chubb Prism Silver's uh, Select Concourses there. Those are awesome, kick-ass cards. Um, the Antonio Gibson Silver, the T. Higgins Silver, and then a lot of nice little investor cards and base field levels. The silvers kind of stuff where I think are worth more than $20, $30. Those are the cards that I'm getting grading. I'm sending them to Pure Graded X. All right, y'all. So I purchased the Pure Graded X 25 card submission through the Quest um, submission promo right now. Use promo code Quest at checkout. Got $100 off my order. So I'm submitting at $12 per card right now. With a 30-day turnaround time, it's incredible. I'm so excited with the custom slabs and all that kind of good stuff that I showed you guys in the uh, Pure Graded X reveal. So very soon, I'm going to be doing a video. Um, stay tuned for a video that's coming with my submission, and the submission is going to be 25 cards that are, you know, we're going, we're looking for the SP on SPs investment style to send in uh, modern, ultra modern. So, um, some I'll probably throw some uh, PC items too. You know, I'll do 20 investment items and five PC items that I really want to get slabbed. And I'll walk you guys through the entire process. It's Saturday when the kids come out and play. But I'm up in my room and I let the stereo play. I got to go run to the grocery store. All right, y'all. Peace. We got from Ramsey, baby. Yeah. It's Saturday when the kids come out and play. I'm up in my room, I let the stereo blaze. What's up, guys? 